Hello, my name is Marcus and welcome to a sort of special video here. I'm going to call it what I'm looking forward to in 2023. Uploaded about two weeks into the year, but <laughs> whatever. Um, anyways, I'm going to split this up into three different segments. The first one is going to be games I have in my collection I haven't played yet. That I'm looking forward to playing in 2023. Um, basically it's all my all of the ones that I have, but I'm look but I'm gonna mention some of them. Um, then I'm going to have incoming games, games I know I'm getting. I'm getting these games in the year 2023, hopefully. There's, I'm going to explain that. But I'm getting these games, um, I'm looking forward to that, right? Some of them I'm going to gloss over, I'm going to go deep into the ones that I'm really looking forward to. And then there are interesting games that should be coming out in 2023 that I'm hoping to, you know, see or, or maybe get to play, but not necessarily interested in buying them for myself or something like that. Um, so that's going to be it. But let's start off with the uh, in-collection. The first one is Legacy Zeller, it's right here. I haven't played it, but it's, you know, in, in the League of Summon Awards, which I really like, so I'm hoping it's going to be good. Um, I haven't gotten to play it yet, it has a massive playmat, I don't know where I have the room for it. And I need something, to, someone to play it with me. I don't think I can get my fiancé to play that many, those kind of games with me. Uh, then, one, this one. It's a little bit because I'm I'm up I'm filming this video on Monday, right? In like midday Monday, uh, but I'm going to be posting it I think Friday, maybe Saturday, one of those two. But tonight, on Monday tonight, I'm going to a game meetup, and I'm hoping to get this game played at that one, and then quite possibly doing Wednesday's review on it. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it's Creature Comforts. I got it recently. And I'm bringing it tonight, I'm hoping to get it played. So by the time you're watching this one, I can already cross it off my list. But for now it's on the list, because right now I haven't played it, but I, I really want to, and I, I looked at the rules last night, and it, it looks so interesting. So incredibly interesting, I'm really looking forward to getting it played. <coughs> but I might have, by the time you're watching this video, maybe. One that I know I'm not going to get played for at least another couple of weeks is Endless Winter. Another one where I had it on my dinner table, just had a look at it, but damn, it's massive and it takes a lot. So I, I, there might go a little time before I get that played, but I'm hoping to do it within the first couple of months of the year, but that might be a little time. I actually didn't back the Kickstarter. I bought it on an auction for some, from someone reselling it who didn't like it. And I was like, I've heard so much good about this. It sounds so interesting. Freaking go on it. So yeah. Um, and then th three quick, quick ones. We have Castles of Mad King Ludwig. My fiance actually recently bought that. She thought it sounded really interesting, so she bought it. And it does sound pretty interesting. Looking forward to getting to try it. It's sort of a polyamorous, and I mean, with uh, two over here, Baron Pang and New York Zoo being polyamorous games that I really like. Looking forward to trying it out. Then we have Hike, just on top down here. A card game where you're building a sled of dogs. It sounds interesting, I backed the Kickstarter, uh, picked it up at this and can't believe I haven't played it yet. I'm looking forward to getting it played, just there needs to be time and time to do so, alright? And it's not a top priority. Two games that might be a top priority are actually Take to Ride Asia and India and Switzerland. Those two map collections there, I have yet to play them. <laughs> I really need to get them played so I can get them reviewed as well. Like, I, I think, I believe, I do believe, yeah, with Rails and Sales going up tonight, well, Monday night for you, then I just need to those two and I have reviewed my entire current collection of Tick Trides and I'm up to speed and then I can do a new one whenever I get a new one. I need to get those played and reviewed. Uh, <clears throat> that's, that's basically it from my collection, I've obviously written it down. I mean there is technically Partners down here. We have, we have yet to play Partners 2 and Partner Plus, but they play kind of like Partners, so I don't. Uh, so I'm not explicitly looking forward to it. Um, so incoming games, games that I know I'm getting, and those actually link up with some in my collection, because obviously I have the Draft of Saurus 2 expansions, Aerial Show and Marina, and I have obviously other Draft of Saurus. I haven't received it yet, sitting patiently, but you know, as soon as this week is over, if I haven't received anything, I am going to write to the company and hear, yo, what's going on? But, that is one that I'm getting, hopefully one of the first ones on this list that I'm getting. And I'm looking forward to playing it with those expansions, of course. It's kind of linking up, play those together. It sounds really fun, you know, drafting dinosaurs, putting them in your pack. It sounds very fun. Looking forward to getting it played. Um, one that 
is on the way. Uh, they're saying that late January they will arrive at ports and start packing out, so I'm hoping that sometime in March they'll start shipping out, and quite possibly by April I will have this game. It is distilled. It's a game I'm very much looking forward to, sounds so interesting. It's obviously about crafting a bunch of different um, alcoholic beverages just down my alleyway. Super interested in playing this game. I was thinking about doing like a gameplay where I also taste something similar to what I'm crafting, having it on the ready. So very interesting in getting this game. Very look much looking forward to it. To it. A game that I might be getting around the same time. It looks to be on time. So actually, it might actually arrive in March. Like it's on time right now. It's Casting Shadows by Unstable Games. The Kickstarter I spent the most amount of money on ever. Six hundred and ten dollars in Kickstarter plus at least like four five hundred in the pledge match. It's fucking crazy. I know. It's fucking insane. I'm a lunatic. But I spent a lot of money here getting a bunch for this stuff. But I'm really looking forward to getting it. Casting Shadows, the biggest project from Unstable Games. You can see on the shelf that it's a little bit covered by me here. I like Unstable Games. Basically all these games are fairly high rated and I really love playing them and I, I know a lot of people who want to play them with me. So I'm looking forward to getting Casting Shadows, the new one from them. Uh, Aqua Jetty Game Bundle. Every single game the Aqua Jetty has ever released. Now this could be go one of various ways. It could be boring or simple games or it could be something along the lines of maybe uh, Unstable Games here. Only time will tell when I receive them. I have tracking on them. I should check up on what the tracking says right now. What I have tracking on right now, they should be in transit between Denmark and USA right now. A little while yet, but I think I think by February at least I'll have them. I think. Looking forward to that. Another one that's big on the list is La Granja Deluxe Edition or La Granja. Granja. It's Spanish, obviously. I'm not good with Spanish, so someone can tell me how to pronounce it. I, I've heard it pronounced more like an H, so like a granja. But I just say La Granja because it's a J. Uh, someone can let me know what's correct. I, uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. The reason I backed it is because it sounded a little bit like a viticulture, but you're on a farm. And I really, really like viticulture, obviously. But then again, uh, and also because of what you do to cut, you know, put it on the left or on the right or on the top or on the bottom and slide it in and look amazing, amazing components, amazing table presence. Just looked really amazing and sounded like a really good game. So I was tempted and I backed it and I'm really looking forward to receiving it. Uh, Evolution New World. It looked really good and it's about evolving your species, which is something I, I'm kind of interested in, animals and all of that. And I've checked out other variations like oceans and something, I think it's called Evolution Climate and something. And one thing this game has is it actually looks good. <laughs> I mean, have you seen Oceans? Have you seen Evolution Climate? They don't really look that good. They're trying like an abstract art style almost to say, with different colors and stuff. It just doesn't work. It doesn't look very good. <sighs> My cat is on the table right now. <laughs> Zoe? No. No. Uh, but it, it looks really good and sounds pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to getting it. Similar card game again. Can go one of many ways. Um, and we have two that are very culturally interesting. Solani and The Girl Who Made the Stars. Two games from the same company. Two first games in a four game line. They were planning on making the four other two, three and four in 2022. But they have not released this one. On Board Game Giga, just check. It still says 2021 release. Two years late. There's really been a lot of late delays on it and something I should research before backing it, but it sounded so interesting. So what it is, is it is stories from around the world, I believe. Uh, at least the girl who made the stars is an African thing. I believe Solani was a South American thing. It might also be African, actually. But stories from, from those cultures, you know, the girl who made the stars. The girl who made the stars. And Solani, I, I can't quite remember what that is. It's... Uh, I don't want to say anything, so I can't quite remember what that is, but the Gold Maid stuff is here. Some very culturally interesting, some gameplay interesting, and components awesome looking. I'm looking forward to getting them. They're almost done producing, but I believe the Chinese New Year is setting in right now, and that is going to delay production by like a month, because Chinese New Year takes so freaking long. How can they just stop production like that? That's interesting. Um, so they are going to be third delayed, but I believe I'm going to get them in the first half of, of 2033. 
Binding Isaac Four Souls. This is probably the one I'm the least looking forward to, so to speak. So it, it bought it when I was also like into Cards Against Humanity, Joking Hazard, those games. Right, getting into the hobby. This sounded really interesting. Now it's pushing on being one, one and a half years late. And I'm sitting here like this doesn't sound that interesting anymore. I'm the kind of person that's going to get it. I'm going to buy, play it. I might do a review on it. I don't know. But there is definitely a chance that this game is going to get sold again. But I'm looking forward to getting it and playing it and trying it out. Again, it could be another Doomings. Like, that's a pretty fun, simple game. So it could be like that. Who knows? Uh, then we have a little pocket game. Dinosauria. About dinosaurs, I can't remember that much of it actually. But well, it's like about collecting dinosaurs, putting them in an area and scoring points on them. It's a micro game like uh, Death Valley. So it's probably going to stay in the collection just because it's going to be small, hopefully. And there's a little expansion to it. I'm looking forward to getting it. It's about dinosaurs. It's amazing. Um, now there's two games. One of them, I don't think it's going to be releasing 2023. But the Kickstarter says so, so I'm carrying it in. The other one, I have no idea what's happening. So. The one I don't know what's happening is Honeybus and it's uh, exp expansion. I got an update in December or early January, I can't quite remember, that said like we've lost communication with the factory and we've just recently gotten it back. We don't know what the progress is. Great. <laughs> don't know where the frick this game is at. Uh, so that's that's awesome. Um, they obviously, the company, want to get it produced and get it out and I'm looking forward to getting it. Honeybus sounds really interesting. In 2021 uh, Dice Tower Awards, it got quite a few nominations. Quite didn't really get a win, I don't think, but a lot of nominations. It sounds really, it sounds really interesting gameplay-wise. The expansion sounds really interesting. Looking forward to getting it. Hopefully, communication starts back up after Chinese New Year and and February March. Just produce, 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 and they can get it out as quickly as possible. But right now, it's not looking like it's going to be. I don't know. It's very much delayed, and and it's in. Eternal, <laughs> eternity. I don't know where it's at. The other one is set to release in December, so I'm counting it. But we all know how that's going to go. It's uh, Maple Valley. One of the reasons I bought Creature Comfort right here now to get it is Maple Valley. Those both sound really interesting. Maple Valley sounds a little bit more easy, so to speak, less heavy, uh, but both sound really interesting. Hopefully, Maple Valley completes in this year, and I can talk about it. But Maybe it will also be on the list of 2024. Definitely something I'm looking very much forward to receiving. The last one is I pre-ordered it for a Q3 release uh, through a Danish website. Uh, well, my girlfriend has, my fiance has, for my birthday. It's like a game for my birthday, which is really cool. And and interesting games. I'm gonna have one there. Or you know, games that are coming in, but it's Wingspan Oceania. I haven't gotten it yet. Uh, it's been very difficult to get it uh, in Danish, and I have the rest of the Wingspan, which is right, right where I'm sitting, right here. Wingspan and the European expansion, both in Danish, and I don't want to all of a sudden have you know a uh, English game mixed in. So there's a pre-order for it, and we pre-ordered it because. It's been really difficult to get, and she said that she would do that for my birthday, so that's awesome. It releases around my birthday. Looking forward to that. Now I'm just jump into interesting games, games I'm looking forward to. And there's one here I don't know anything about, but it's the other new Wingspan uh, expansion called Asia. We have kind of talked about it, and we think maybe, just maybe, the fact that you can pre-order Oceania for a Q3 release in Danish, means that Asia is going to be a Q3 release in Danish. We've talked about that's a possibility. It's completely just speculation from me and my fiancé. Completely. We have no idea. But we have made the deal that if it does come out around that time, he's also going to buy that as my birthday present, Oceania and Asia. Which I've like, yes, please, yes. <laughs> um, but it's complete speculation if it's even going to come out in Danish. I've heard nothing. But I'm hoping. I'm hopeful. That it is going to come out, that's why Oceania is pre-ordered at that time. You know, it's interesting to have such a long pre-order for Q3. Is Asia also going to come out? I'm hoping. I have no clue. I've heard nothing. It's completely just hopes and dreams. <laughs> I'm also getting the nesting box. I haven't written it on here because it's not a game. But I have pre-ordered the nesting box. I spent £65, Great British Pounds, on a box. I like 
going to expand and there's room for new expansions. I'm looking forward to Africa, South America. Are they going to do anything with Antarctica? I hope they're not doing anything with dinosaurs. That sounds stupid. Don't do that. But looking forward to the future, definitely. Uh, but we're now into games that are interesting that I'm looking forward to hearing about in 2023. Start off with the big one. The Dice Tower broke courtesy and brought a, what is it called, Kickstarter preview model of that one uh, to one of the conventions. It's the Fox Experiment. Based on what I hear from the Dice Tower people and some other people in the industry, I haven't heard to show them a sit down, but obviously they don't do that kind of stuff. What they're saying, this sounds like it's going to be the best game of all time. It's going to be amazing, the best game ever. Greatest design ever from the greatest designer, uh, what's the, Elizabeth Hargrave, that's her name. Very interesting. Uh, I looked at Kickstarter, I had the chance to bag it, it just didn't sound interesting enough. <laughs> A lot of people are talking so high, I'm sitting here like, Meh. I like to watch it, I like to play it. I'd like to play it, sorry about that, pronunciations. But it doesn't sound like a game I'm going to fall immediately in love with. But I'm looking forward to trying it out. Uh, Gin Crafters, another game where I, that I didn't, um, what's it called, actually back, I did have a chance, I was looking at it, but in the end I was like, I'm getting distilled, and gin is not my favorite thing ever. I prefer whiskey or rum, so scotch. Uh, so I decided not to back it, but I'm definitely interested in seeing it come out next year. Very interesting. Hopefully it's going to be good and maybe I get to play it. Maybe I'll buy it even. Who knows. Uh, one game I know I'm never ever going to buy but I would love to see it on a table. It is Marvel Zombies and at that point also uh, Foundations of Rome. Both of these games I know I'm not going to buy them. They're way too expensive. All in pledges are way too expensive. Basic pledges are also fairly expensive on Foundations of Rome. Not so much on Marvel Zombies I don't think. There's Fairly inexpensive on the base plus base pledge, but I know I'm never gonna get these two. But I would love to see them on the table. I would love to try and play them, <laughs> but it's unrealistic. But I would love to just see them on the table, you see the table present, see that freaking Galactus figure. It would be amazing. So I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing those two. A game that I am hoping to get a hold of in the new year is War of the Ring, the card game, and for that matter, also War of the Ring. War of the Ring has been very high on my wish list for a very long time. It's a two-player game, it's about Lord of the Rings, it sounds amazing. <laughs> it's just really, really expensive, so I'd rather buy two really good games rather than this one great game. But I think this year is the year where I'm going to try and get a hold of either the card game or the main big game. I heard a lot of, about good about the card game, it sounds really interesting, and the base game is just amazing. Amazing looking, amazing sounding, I really want to try it out. And hopefully I can get my fiance to play it with me. I we still need to play Watch for Lord of the Rings together, me and her. Oof. <laughs> Gotta get all my facts straight and <laughs> uh and then a uh, final one where I was looking at well that's not the final one where I was looking at the Kickstarter. It's Earth. So it's a tableau builder. Gave me sort of this this side of wingspan and Keystone North America mixed in. It sounded really interesting. I think if it had been more about animals and building something about animals. I would probably have backed it, but in the end I didn't. And it sounds really, really interesting. I'm looking forward to hearing more about it in the new year. Maybe even getting to try and play it. Then you have, uh, not that one, that's the wrong one. I don't know anything about that one. I'm basing it, it's Age of Rome. I'm basing that entirely on the cover, that looks interesting. But I don't know anything about the game, so that's. Uh, but another one that I could back, which says on Board Game Geek it's a 2023 release, but I could have sworn it was already released. So, hmm. But it is Ice. So you break apart ice to get deeper and deeper in and look really cool. Again, I was on, it was on Kickstarter, I could have backed it. At the time, I, I think I remember that I had to choose between two games. And I chose another game over ice because I couldn't afford both. And when you're in a situation where you can't afford both, you should probably buy it neither. But I, I bought the one I could afford. So ice I didn't back, but it sounds really interesting the way it plays and... and oh, okay what you need to do in the game. Sounds very interesting. I'm looking forward to it. One that I forgot to put on here is Undici? Undici? I believe it's 11 but in Italian. Um, it's a game about where you have you're the manager of one game team 
and your opponents demand you after the other team. I really wanted to back it, but I just I couldn't get the finance to it. I decided not to back any games around that time because I just couldn't get the finance to get it to do it. I don't really want that game. So I'm really looking forward to maybe, you know, retail release, I can get a hold of it. I think this is the kind of game I can play with my dad. He really likes football, I really like football. This just sounds like an ideal football game. Super Club I've heard about, just, it sounds to be a little bit too long, right? This is a game. One on one, score the most amount of go highest amount of goals. Sounds really interesting, very tactical. And as two people who really love going t into the tactics of football, it sounds so interesting. Really looking forward to it. Super Club sounds pretty interesting as well. Maybe I want to try and get to play it. But it's not a priority on DC or 11 really is the priority. This is of course the other game that's also called 11 so I'm probably be careful actually calling it 11 so that's... <laughs> but that is basically, yeah, I think that's uh, those are games that I'm looking forward to playing or seeing or receiving throughout the year 2023. Of course Honeybus and Maple Valley and Wingspan Asia are like three that I'm really much in doubt about but I'm hopeful hopeful that there are going to be some positive updates coming. Distilled is right around the corner. And so is Casting Shadows and uh, Awkward. Now, I can't really range a lot of them, but I know what my top three are. The three games I'm looking forward to the most. I know what those are. Of course, if Creature Comfort is really good, Maple Valley could go up. But right now, the top three games that I'm looking forward to receiving in 2023 is number three is La Granja Deluxe. Really looking forward to it. As I said, it sounds like Viticulture, but on a farm. It does some really, really interesting stuff with cards. Really looking forward to getting it and trying it and getting it on the table. It could be really bad, who knows, but it just sounds so incredibly interesting. So awesome looking and, and I know I know of a guy who's definitely want to go and play this with me, I think. If it is how plays how I think it is, I know a guy I can get this on the table with every time. So here's hoping. Uh, the second game that I'm looking forward to is Casting Shadows. Biggest game from Unstable Games ever. I really like Unstable Games. It's probably one of my favorite companies as a whole. Yes, even above Days of Wonder. Although they've made Ticket to Ride, which is probably my favorite game series. I think overall as a company, I would prefer Unstable Games to just make some really simple, fun, great card games. And this sounds to take that up a notch. Not just be about cards, but be about the figures and movement on an ever-changing board. Sounds so interesting, I'm so looking forward to it, can't wait to receive it, and all the other stupid stuff that I bought, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. And then of course, the biggest one, the number one game, the game I'm looking forward to the most, I was hoping it would release in 2022, probably been my game of the year maybe, I'm hoping, but it is still, it's on the way, I'm hoping for an April, around April. Ugh. Sounds so incredibly interesting. Crafting uh, your your alcohol, your spirits, and and I think there's something about selling it on as well. You know, it's it's viticulture, but it's with spirits, and it's very different in worker placement. You have your own little basement where you're at, trying to get the products in. Sounds very interesting. I heard some people who has had uh, had the the prototypes of the games talking about how the market can really be a, a fierce fight to get the market in. Which sounds so interesting about you know maybe bidding on in prices of being the first to, uh, to get there, it's, it sounds really, really interesting. I'm really looking forward to getting the, my number one most anticipated game for the last two years. And it's finally on boats, it's coming, it's arriving soon. I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping that I can do it. I will do a review as quick as possible, I'll play it 50 times as soon as it comes out. Uh, but yo, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>